Hello, it's Brad McDowell here, Senior Privilege Cloud Consultant here in Australia. And today I'll be showing you how to switch the CPM from the primary connector server to the DR connector server. Before we achieve this, I just want to mention that the API key manager to Exe, which was previously used for this process, has been removed as of uh, the CPM version 14.2. So if you're on 14.2 and higher, you need to follow this process. Uh, in a demonstration today, first I'll upgrade the CPM from 14.0, as we did in the last video, to 14.2. And then I'll show you where you can download the new CPM sync component utility from the CyberArk Marketplace. And then we'll uh, move the CPM from the connector server one over to connector server two, and we'll test. And then I'll show you the process of moving it back from the connector server two, in this case, to back to connector server one. I'll just, slow, I'll just show you the diagram of the environment. It's very simple. Uh, when we built this, the connector server one was a primary CPM and the connector server two was a DR CPM. So we're basically going to switch in between these for the uh, CPM service. Enough of slides, I'll head over to the lab and show you how it's done. Before we can switch the CPM from the primary to the DR CPM, I first want to talk about the CPM version. So here on both the servers, uh, we're running the password manager or CPM version 14.0. If I go to one of the connector servers and navigate to the program files x36 server arc password manager then vault, we'll see an application here uh, called apikeymanager.exe. This application is removed as a 14.2 and now there's a new method to set the password for the component users. So I'll upgrade the CPM on both the servers first, and then we'll switch the CPM. Before I can upgrade or switch the CPM from the primary to the secondary, I'll need to know the password for the installer user. And I'll set that in identity here. We'll go to users, all service users, then the installer user. I'll just document this account here and set the password. So back on connector management, we'll upgrade the password manager only just to save some time. And this is our active CPM, so we'll hit upgrade. Okay, the primary CPM is upgraded. That's on 14.2. I'll do the connector server 2 now. And this is the DR CPM at the moment. Okay, the DR CPM has upgraded. I'll switch over to connector server one and I'll reboot the server. I'll do the same with connector server two. And if I go back to privilege cloud here and go to system health, we can see the CPM is on version 14.2 and it appears the server has rebooted. I'll look back into both connector servers. And back on connector server one, we'll simulate a CPM failure by simply stopping the CyberArk password manager. And we'll disable the service just in case I reboot and forget. And I'll also stop the scanner service as well. And we'll disable that service. Now I'll switch to connector server two and we'll navigate to the C drive, program files x86, the server arc, password manager, then vault. 
And in here, we'll modify the vault file here. And we'll add in two lines at the very bottom. I'll put this in the description. You'll just need to define your subdomain here for your uh, privileged cloud uh, shared services or ISPSS. We'll save that and close it. So our next task is to set the component user credentials uh, for this, uh, what will be now the primary CPM on Connector Server 2. The user.ini is empty at the moment. So here on the CyberArk Marketplace, we have the CPM sync component utility. Uh, I've downloaded this ahead of time and put it on Connector Server 2. And that helps us set the credentials for the component user uh, here on Connector Server 2. So we'll go to the CyberArk folder and I've put it in here and we'll just extract this. I'll provide the documentation to this uh, in the description for later reference. And then at the bottom here, there's a JSON file that we need to modify. So let's open that with Notepad. And here we have it here. There's a, few, there's a couple of things we've got to modify in here. Most of the things for my environment is default. Uh, so the first piece of information we need is the component username. So we'll go back to Privilege Cloud and we uh, here on the system health page, the component username is prod-cpm in capitals. So if I go back to connector server two and the component username is prod-cpm and I'll make the display name the same as well. The next piece of information we need is the uh, vault admin username and I'll save and close that. Let's refresh this. And as we can see, it's disconnected. I forgot to do that earlier, uh, just to show that the, the, the primary CPM is down because I simulated an outage. Uh, so in a moment, hopefully when this script runs, we'll see this connected again. If we go back to connect to server two and open up PowerShell as administrator, We'll run the script uh, sync comp users.ps1. So let's run that. We'll type in yes to confirm. And we'll put in our vault password or the installer user password, I should say. Don't think I, pay I pasted the password correctly. So let me just try that again. That's better. I've actually typed in the password now. And that's finished successfully. We go back to the program files x86 and then subraf password manager. We'll go to the vault directory and we'll see the user the INI here. And as we can see, there's a username and the encrypted password. So now we'll go and start the service. And we'll look for subraf password manager. And we'll start the service. It's running and I'll start the scanner service. I'll switch back to the workstation. And if we refresh this here, we'll see that the prod CPM is now connected via connector server two. We'll just do a quick test. I'll go to the brad.admin account and verify the password. And because I'm impatient, I will just restart the password manager service. And as we can see here, I've got an error. To fix this, uh, I forgot to set the plugin manager user. So I'll just type in prod CPM here. And we'll copy this password and make our way back to connector server two. And we'll open up and we'll expand out to local users and groups, users, 
and here's the plugin manager user. We'll just set the password because this has never been set on the connector server to uh, CPM. And we'll head back to services and we'll restart the password manager. Go to our favorites view. And we can see it's been verified. I'll now hit change just to confirm the change works. And we'll restart the CPM again. And that's working also. So that that's done, I'll just switch back this, the CPM from the secondary or the DR CPM to the primary. So again, we'll just stop the service here. We'll stop the scanner. I'll head back to connect to server one. extract this we'll edit this JSON file again let's quickly go back to system health and we can see that the the CPM is disconnected again as expected back on connect to server one we'll run the script I'll just re-enable the services. And start them. And if we refresh the system health page, we can see the prod CPM is connected again via connector server one. If you want to know which connector server is primary and which one's secondary. You can detect this from the connector management. And if we go to connector server one, we can see the password manager has a green tick here as active and the scanner has a green tick of active. And if I go to connector server two, we'll see this inactive um, icon uh, for the CPM services. And I'll finish the video here. Uh, we've gone through how to move the CPM component user from one connector server to another. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.